back again, Lupola Brewing Company, for another great beer review. Um, tonight, we got a uh, UFO Harpoon Hefeweizen. It's a uh, it's a cold winter night. Sorry, I'm looking outside. I got somebody uh, pulled into my driveway. Um, cold winter night, snowing still. So, figured what better than to just uh, keep it going with the beer reviews. Uh, I've cleansed my palate since that Infinium. If you haven't seen that review, check it out. Uh, now, remember with a Hefeweizen, it's uh, it's an unfiltered wheat beer, so it, it's going to be cloudy. It's going to be a golden color, and uh, they're known for their citrusy taste and more like clove smell. Um, they they're always fruity. They have a good smell. Uh, Hefeweizen happens to be one of my favorite types of beer. Um, my favorite would probably be the Weiss and Stiefen. If uh, you can check that uh, Weiss beer out by Weiss and Stiefen, uh, just German German brewer. And uh, they sell it in America. You can get it at craft brew stores. You should check it out. Uh, it's number four or five on uh, the list for top 100 beers to try before you die. Um, I That beer is unbelievable, I would have to say. So uh, every time I try a Hef, I always compare it to that beer because they're all modeled the same way. So uh, this is a Massachusetts brewer. It's a uh, Western Mass. And... Uh, Believe it or not, this beer right here has actually won a uh, silver medal at the Beer World Cup. Oh, excuse me, that Infinium's coming up. <laughs> um, this has actually won a uh, silver medal at the Beer World Cup about five or six years in a row now. So, uh, it's good beer. Um, I can't remember the last time I had it, but uh, I definitely wasn't uh, reviewing it by any means. So, let's uh, see what it's like. Got my wheat glass right here. Small at the bottom, tall at the top, square shape. It's good for hefts, especially wheats. Eh, good pour. Um, if you check out that head, uh, you know, it's actually a pretty good ratio. Um, thickness of it. You know, it, it holds a bottle cap in there pretty well. So, uh, let's give it a try. You know, there there isn't much smell that comes out of this beer. Um, it's shocking, too, because I, when I have had it, I know it's a lot of flavor. So, don't let the smell uh, fool you when you try it yourself. But uh, it, it really smells subtle. It's uh, light. You can smell the wheat, and it's really a small hint of fruit. So... Let's, uh, let's take a sip, see what it's like. Yeah, it's no wonder why it's a winner. Um, it, it's it's a classic hef. It's got the uh, it's got the unfiltered taste to it, where it's uh, you can taste everything in it. You can taste the the sediment. You can taste the the wheat all combined with the hops. Uh, usually they use like a, a wheat style hops. Most of the time it's a German wheat hop. Um, and, uh, man, no wonder I don't like, it's, it's a little, uh, it's a little cloudy. It's, see, remember, this is not as cloudy as most hefts. Most hefts are very cloudy, especially the Sierra Nevada. You'll actually find a lot of sediment in the bottom of that. But uh, production-wise, UFO has to keep uh, keep most of their beers un, uh, un well. They have to keep most of their beers filtered, so it's a little hard to produce an uh, unfiltered beer. But I mean, they have to filter it somewhat, and they do a pretty good job. They probably use some sort of Irish moss in the uh, actual fermenting to make it so it's um, a little clearer. And uh, you know, overall, I would have to give this beer a B, a solid B. Um, it's got all the flavors. If you haven't had a Hef, it's kind of hard to explain a Hef because it's such a mix of flavors. It's a, uh, it's an ale. It's it's almost like an ale kind of taste to it, but it, it brings in that cloudy effect of fruit and uh, the dry taste kind of on your mouth. Um, it's an excellent beer. It it is, and uh, I, I recommend you try. It. I do. There's uh, there's a reason why it's been a winner at the uh, 
Beer World Cup. It's good. It is good. Um, well, I guess that'll do it for right now. Uh, I will be back later tonight to sample our special, the Loophole Brewing Company Golden Cloud. Bavarian wheat. Uh, it'll be on your liquor store shelves in a, about a year or so. Um, look for it. Support it. Uh, like my Twitter page uh, for Loophole Brewing Co. Um, any questions, Co at gmail.com. Give me an uh, email. I'll answer any of your questions. And uh, like our Facebook page, too. Don't forget that. Other than that, have a nice night. Happy brewing. Enjoy some good beer. Night.